Hey there everybody. I'm not sure it's just me, but I see a bit of redundancy here. My iPod's here as well as there. And if I go and launch music or any other app on my iPod, it launches on my iPod. So it's pretty cool. Right click takes you back to home. And uh, it's, it's all the same gestures. So if you click and drag, it takes you over a screen. And I can actually type things. I can do it uh, 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 on my keyboard and it types on the iPod. So that's great for chat apps that only work on the iPod. I'm going to show you how to do this today. It's all free. Um, first thing you need to do is obviously jailbreak your iPod. If you don't know what jailbreaking is, please go to another video on YouTube. Um, don't ask me in the comments, but what you can ask in the comments is for a tutorial on how to jailbreak, because I will gladly show you how to do that. First thing, if you're on a jailbroken iPod, open Cydia. Cydia. Might as well control it on All right, wait for it to do its reloading data, loading data. I'll come back after that. All right, and we're back. I literally said I'd come back, so I did. Go over to search, down at the bottom, and you're going to type in V-E-E-N. And it will be the only one there called V-N-C. It's a play on spelling for V-N-C. It's a VNC server for the iPhone. Go ahead and install it. If you've got a jailbroken iPod, you're gonna know how to install jailbroken apps. Go home after it's all installed. Note, you won't notice any additional icons on the screen or anywhere. Now, your second step. On your Mac or PC, go to the internet. If you're on a Mac, Google chicken, yes, chicken, and then VNC. Download the first one. If you're on a PC, Google tight VNC. Tight VNC, that one. Good. Install it and run it. Since I'm on a Mac, I'm running chicken, so I'm just gonna kill chicken right now. Or sorry, kill VNC. Quit. All right, we're done here. iPod's back to normal. Now what, I, what we're gonna do is launch chicken at the VNC. It's a chicken in a can. Chicken at the VNC, right there. It's gonna ask for the host. The host is your IP address of this device. Note, you must be on the same wireless network for this to work. So we're on the same, we're on our home wireless network. Um, to get your IP address on your iPod, if you have SB settings, just drag across the top and it will tell you Wi-Fi IP address there. Or if you don't, go to settings, then Wi-Fi, then the network you're connected to, push the little over arrow, and it will tell you your IP address is mine for this device is 192.168.0.7. So we're going to go ahead and type that into here, 192.168.0.7 and no password, no, no other settings, hit connect. You will be asked on the iPod, remote access request, hit accept or reject, and I hit accept, and instantly you are shown the device display, and you can instantly start to control it. It is as simple as that, 100% free, and quite entertaining. And uh, you'll notice how I'm running 256-bit colors, Reason being, I didn't want it to be slow for this tutorial, but you can bring that up. Just go to connection, connection profiles, color, set it to millions of colors, close out of that, close out of cyclic or iPod. Uh, connection, open connection, same IP address, connect, and accept. And now it's 100% color quality there. Beautiful. All right, thank you for watching this tutorial, and uh, hey, get the app who's here. I love this app. It's my favorite app ever. Um, lets you talk with people who are around you. So uh, if you haven't seen my prior tutorial on how to get the Maps app to work on in your area, uh, the finding you, do that, and then who knows? Maybe you'll come across me on there. I'm Jonathan. Never know. Talk to you later. Thank you for watching and uh, discover. Ooh. Bye.